This is WLHL News with Emmy Award winning anchorman Ron Burgundy. Mm -hmm. That's he should have just made the damn cake. I don't care. If you're gay and you want a cake, go find a gay baker. I don't know what they're doing over there in Denver, Colorado. Hey, I'm Cron Burgundy. Welcome to WLHL News. Speaking of Denver, Colorado, take a look at this. A Denver business that hoped to open the nation's first legal marijuana spa has come up about as short as Danny DeVito. They're short by about 20 feet, to be more exact. The city's licensing director, Dick Head, denied a license application filed by Utopia All Natural Wellness Spa and Lounge. Give me a rubdown! <laughs> now, it would have allowed marijuana consumption in the old Capitol Hill mansion, which has probably happened there before, don't you think? But it was denied! Denied, sayeth the city asshole! Er, uh, guy, Dick. Uh, he was citing location. Its location was 980 feet from a child care center. Could we just move the damn kids? The city regulations require cannabis businesses that seek consumption areas, a.k.a. a place to get high, must be at least 1,000 feet from a daycare center. Move the damn kids! Get on your bicycles and ride them! <laughs> Love that song. Anyway, Utopia would have received the license issued under Initiative 300, which was approved by 54% of the voters. But Dick Head said, No, I have spoken. 20 feet it must be, saith you. No, oh, that's what's screwing us all up in Denver. Do another one here. Are you thinking of getting married? Hmm? If your dream wedding looks anything like my dream wedding, which is also my ultimate nightmare, it would be a weed wedding. A wedding that offers guests a variety of sticky, tasty, danky, danky, dookie, and delicious strains, all designed to match the mood and activity of your friends. That's why they're at your wedding. That's why you include the best strains to serve at your weed wedding to help enhance experiences that you want your guests to enjoy. The band, perhaps? Yeah. How about high energy sativa strains for the dance floor? Check your handgun at the door, Mr. Comey. Let's keep dancing, but careful there, boys. Watch out. He might flip it. He's gonna, and it's. What the hell dance is that? I did that once. I had the runs. Here it goes. Boom, bang, you're out of the club. That's just ridiculousness. Anyway, how about after dessert, a nice high CBD strain? Maybe that's just for grandma or something to cover your gas problems. <laughs> there you go, grandma. Anyway, in herb.co, they've got you covered. Link on over there and find the right weed wedding strain for your needs. I recommend wedding cake. This is a good one. It's a decent hybrid that's sweet and earthy with hints of vanilla and real high THC count, dude. I mean, a real high THC count, 25% THC. So make sure your guests go easy on this champagne of strains. All right, mm, can we take a break? Jesus, this is going on. Look at this. The 1930s was a crucial decade for cannabis. Before the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937, cannabis was a widely used medicine. But after a national campaign to stigmatize and outlaw cannabis, medical use and all that stuff, it was declining, declining, and the herb's reputation was tarnished. Let's bring it back. You know Eli Lilly? The company's cannabis fluid extract was called a narcotic, a sedative, and an antispasmodic. Whoa, just had a spasmodic episode there. This potion labeled a poison was 80% alcohol. <laughs> so was my favorite potion. But by today's standards, Lily's cannabis fluid extract would be a tincture, but you'd never see it on the shelves. I don't advise using any product resembling this, but Eli Lilly's understanding of medical marijuana as an anti-spasmodic isn't too far off of the mark. Because today, medical marijuana is one of the only effective treatments for epilepsy or seizure-inducing autism. Bud tender tips coming up soon. I hope. <laughs> well, those pictures were way out of fucking line. Glenn Levitt's supposed to be the other joke. <gasps> we'll get it in post. You've been watching Cron Burgundy, WLHL News. We'll be right back. <laughs>